So this problem just says to list these um, list these compounds in increasing boiling points. So we'll just look at these in turn and see what kind of forces they have. So RBF. RBF, see that RB is a metal and this is a nonmetal. So this is going to be an ionic bond. So this is going to have ion ion forces, meaning because it's going to be a RB cation and F um, anion. See, these are complete charges, so these are going to be incredibly uh, strong. So, and and this isn't necessarily an intermolecular force. It's going to be, um, since it's an ionic compound, it's going to be ion-ion forces, which are stronger than intermolecular forces. So this will probably be our strongest. Next, for CO2, um, if you look at the loose structure, you'll see that it's nonpolar, um, uh, uh, and if it's nonpolar, it can only have dispersion forces. Uh, it can't have dipole-dipole because um, dipole-dipole requires a polar. So we look at this one, CH3OH. Um, this one, uh, it ha well, we we look for. We obviously know it has dispersion forces. Um, however, we when we look for dipole-dipole, we notice that there's a hydrogen next to an oxygen. That means there's a there's a hydrogen bond. And hydrogen bonds are a type of dipole-dipole. So, and hydrogen bonds are the strongest of the intermolecular forces. So there will be a hydrogen bond in here and a dispersion force. So this will be probably um, the next strongest uh, after this. And then CH3Br. Uh, Br is electronegative. So it's going to be pulling in on these electrons. And if it pulls in, it's going to make this overall molecule polar. If it's polar, that means that it has to be dipole-dipole. And it's dipole-dipole and dispersion because most molecules have dispersion forces. So this is going to be dispersion and dipole-dipole. So the overall list will look like this. CO2, because it only has dispersion forces. CH3, CH3Br, because Brs um, will make, since it's electronegative, it's going to pull in these electrons and make it um, polar. Uh, if it makes a polar, it's going to be dipole and dispersion, which is stronger than this one. Here we have a hydrogen bond, and a hydrogen bond is going to be stronger than the dipole-dipole, and it's going to have dispersion forces. And finally, RBF is actually the strongest because it's ion-ion. Um, these are just intermolecular forces, but ion-ion forces are even stronger than uh, these. And why um, this is strong is because it's a it's a metal to a nonmetal. These are all these are all just nonmetals, but this is a metal to a nonmetal. So the electrons are going to be actually like taken away, um, rather than here where it's shared. Uh, it's shared. Um, it's a polar covalent bond, but it's it's uh, it's still kind of shared. But here it's almost completely taken away. So these ions are going to be full charges, and they're going to be um, a lot stronger than these. So this is the list of um, these compounds in increasing boiling points.